House Wolford prevails against General Avlora's army and drives them out of Glenbrook. Though victorious, Roland sobs quietly, saddened by the sacrifices made in his name. Glenbrook is powerless, but knows they must keep the royal bloodline alive. Thus, the conspiracies and power struggles around the noble blood in Roland's veins continue to stain the land crimson. So it appears the duchy intends to capture Glenbrook. But Prince Roland slipped from their grasp and fled to Wolfort. The ink on the treaty is barely dried, and they're already declaring war. And what's more, there's a price on Prince Roland's head. It has spurred the masses into movement. They will bear their fangs at us in time. We cannot leave them to their own devices. I see this as a wonderful opportunity. We can make it clear how we stand after the Salt Iron War. Aye. And I much prefer to extinguish embers than a raging inferno. It sounds like you intend to start a war. Calm yourselves. There is no need to get so worked up over this. It is true that this grave matter may one day affect Hyzant. But it is in times like these that we must trust the Hierophant's words more than ever. Please open your eyes. There is so much I wish to ask you. Lord Serenoa. I cannot let Father hear how weak I've become. I must be strong. Lord Serenoa, Master Benedict, you have a visitor. Who is it? Lord Silvio Tellior. He wishes for an audience with Lord Serenoa. What business would the Lord of House Tellior have with me? Tell him we will be there shortly. Yes, sir. Every day is busier than the last. We haven't had a moment to catch our breath. You are doing a fine job as head of House Woolfort, Lord Serenoa. Your father would be proud if he could see you now. I could not do it without you, Benedict. Thank you. For the three high houses to join hands and fight the duchy. Is that correct, Lord Silvio? Indeed. I believe it our duty to fight. Some are frozen in fear, trembling at the mere thought of the duchy's power. I feel that joining the three high houses under a single flag is the only way to unite them. My men ready themselves for war as we speak. Come to Telior, and we can strike at Esros together. 
Prince Roland will be safe with us, of course. It's as good a plan as any. You have my thanks for getting the preparations underway. I wonder if Lord Landroy would agree. I doubt House Falks would refuse a fight. Their devotion to the Crown knows no bounds. But of course. They reaped great rewards from the bountiful lands won during the war. You propose reuniting the three high houses who led the Salt Iron War to its end. It is heartening to know you would once again lend us your strength. We certainly could use all the help we can get. Though I wish we could resolve matters peacefully. You speak as though your brother is not at fault for all this. My bride-to-be bears no blame for the Duchy's actions. Uh, my apologies. Forgive me for my outburst. But we haven't much time. I would have your answer now. Shall we accept Lord Silvio's proposal, my lord? Fetch the scales, Benedict. We shall decide our path together. Saranoa. Lord Saranoa. Quite impossible.
Here's what I think. Lord Saranoa. Quite true. However, I have chosen. What do you need? It is time to cast our votes. Do we accept House Tellier's proposal or go our own way? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. Forgive me, my lord. Forgive me. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. The way forward is decided. We deny House Tellior's proposal and weather this fight alone. Are you mad? You would stand idly by while our kingdom is in grave danger. This is the path we have chosen. I hope you understand. I do not. You must reconsider, or else House Tellior too will face Esfrost's wrath. And why would that be our concern? <sighs> we are in no condition to fight, Lord Silvio. It is as simple as that. Then I pray something more than death awaits us both. <laughs> 